Hey Pop Culture Pals, I'm back with a reveal, unboxing, sort of. I've already looked at it before, but I want to share it with you. A collection of Disney jewelry, which isn't something I normally buy, but I had an opportunity and I thought some of these pieces were really unusual, so I picked it up. And we're going to dive right in with these items that I thought were particularly special, probably my favorites of the bunch, from Alice in Wonderland. Look at this. Look at the white rabbit on this. Isn't that lovely? Now, most of the stuff does have Disney written somewhere on it, so I know it's legit. Um, I, this particular piece, I don't see it, but yeah, how lovely is that? And to go with that, we have an Alice in Wonderland necklace. It's sort of a pendant. This one does say Disney on the back. It's kind of one of those like bubble pendants. And this, check this out, this is my favorite piece. Mad Hatter ring, look, there's the size piece. It's really hefty. Um, and it is Mark Disney. <clears throat> I think a lot of this was like Hot Topic jewelry. Because one of the other really great pieces in here was surprisingly from Hot Topic. So those, um, I may sell those as a grouping. I'm not sure that Mad Hatter um, bracelet is, uh, ring is pretty darn cool. And then we have a bunch of charms. Now this is my other issue. And if you have any thoughts, I'd love to hear it. A lot of the issues, these are charm bracelets, but a lot of them have only like one Disney charm on them and the rest are not. So I don't know if I should just pull all the Disney charms. So this one, for example, has Aladdin's lamp and it's got this strange little lenticular zoom zoom charm. I don't know, I thought that was kind of odd. And a Cinderella charm. So this one actually is mostly Disney. I don't know about the bracelet itself, um, again, because it, it doesn't have markings itself. There's also this lovely um, Tinkerbell on a ribbon. It's a beautiful rhinestone piece with a ribbon, kind of almost a choker. I don't want to take them out of the bag. There's this little rhinestone-y Disney ring. I'm feeling like maybe that's a birthstone ring. There's a couple of birthstone pieces in here. Um, again, I'm assuming all this is costume jewelry. I, I, don't, I doubt there's more value beyond that. This little piece is great. This is a Sorcerer's Apprentice charm and it's got some stones in the hat. <clears throat> this is the bracelet that has some Disney on it, but I don't think it's a Disney bracelet. So it has this little watch on the end. It's a nice charm bracelet with some big chunky charms around, but those, those I don't think are Disney. So this is though, someone put on, it's a Disney birthstone for May from Walt Disney World. So if somebody you know has a May birthday and is a Disney fan, that would be the perfect charm for them. This is what I'm saying. Should I pull that charm off and put it on the bracelet with all the other Disney stuff or sell it separately? Because, yeah, it's weird. Um, this one, again, seems to be have come this way. It's a Disney princess charm bracelet. It's got a little rhinestone Mickey head and it's got... Uh, is it Cinderella? Little charm there. Um, but again, the bracelet itself doesn't feel that um, well made. So again, I, I don't know if somebody bought the charms and added them to their bracelets. Or these are just costume jewelry that you can get at Disney. This one I thought was really interesting. It's a like a tennis bracelet and it's all just Mickey heads in the blue and white stones. Um, really nice piece. I like the the color on that one. It's kind of a pewter color. And then we have a little Elsa charm again on a pretty, you know, cheap necklace thing. This might have come from one of those children's kits. There. Um, this sadly has some paint smeared on it. I hope it's paint. This was the Mary Poppins Returns pin that you got if you donated to Variety Club Children's Charity um, during the when you went to see the movie. So that's a neat little collectible for Mary Poppins fans. We have Disney. All we have is love, um, which seems like a really bad sentiment. Shouldn't it be all we need is love? <laughs> it's all we have is love. So apparently they're broke, they're homeless, they have no food, they have nothing, but they do have love. So we're okay. Um, and this again is, uh, I feel like this is that line. Oh, shoot. 
I want to say like it's Annie and something. Yeah, but it doesn't say. It does say stainless steel. And then there's a couple of Nightmare Before Christmas pieces. I do have an awful lot of these. Um, a nice big jackhead keychain and a pin back. This may get added to, at some point I'm probably going to take all of my Nightmare stuff and make one big lot of it because I have so many small uh, keychains and things like that. This is also one of my favorite pieces. Check this out. Fab Five is one of those big, chunky, you know, um, bag charms. And it's got all of your Disney favorites on there. Very nice and chunky. It was originally $10 at the Disney store, which makes me feel like it's not that new because I don't know. I you think they'd charge more for that. Um, this pin, I have not looked up who this is. Um, it, it might be one of the fairies from the like Tinkerbell kids show. That was the one pin that was in the set. And there was this little weird thing and then a bunch of watches. So this, um, again, if somebody wants to help me out. So there's this weird little pink, just Mickey head. It has, it doesn't attach to anything. Same as this. I thought this was a antenna ball and it, oh, <laughs> I didn't notice that. That's fun. Look at that. He has shades. You know what? I was looking at this side when I turned it on last time. Um, somebody called this like, I, are, did these literally come in a drink maybe to light your drink up? Is that safe? Is that what happened? Because they're completely sealed. And it's awfully cool, but I don't know what you'd do with it other than put it in a drink. Because again, it won't even stand up because it's, you know, got a round bottom. Um, and then I have this Pirates of the Caribbean necklace. And what's funny is I have the same exact item in as a large pin. I just put it up for sale in our eBay store. So I'm tempted to add this to the listing I already have. Um, this doesn't have a lot of value on its own, but it's a, again, really cool piece if you're into Pirates of the Caribbean. So the last of the pieces are all watches. I am not a big fan of watches. They never work. You always have to replace the battery. It's always an if, but they came with this lot. And so there you go. So there is a Minnie Mouse. I don't know, I probably should take it out of the bag, but there's a Minnie Mouse with, you know, hands that go around. Got a little charm on there as well a Disney princess, uh, obviously a newer watch because it looks like that's Tiana on there. You know, cute, chunky pink watch. Quite adult, I'd say. This one's very pretty. This is uh, Tinkerbell with a really beautiful luminescent dial there and then this lovely light blue band. Again, none of these tell time at the moment. They all have their batteries. I'm probably literally going to lot these all up for somebody who's a big watch collector. Um, there's two Frozen watches, this one and this one. This one's actually really funny because it's got a, um, is this the one? Oh no, it's this other one here. This one. So weird. So this was a big chunky kids Disney princess watch. I don't know if this lid is supposed to open or what, but when you press the button, it shines. And I almost feel like it's supposed to shine an image. I have a pen like this that shines an image, but it doesn't seem to shine any kind of image. Although maybe, oh, maybe I have to switch it. See if I turn this, it seems to want to do something. Oh, uh, maybe. Yep, I think it's supposed to show. There we go. I don't know, you can't see it. So it is. It's a little projector that depending, I wondered why this was so chunky, that when you turn this, you get a different princess picture. Well, you got at least one princess picture. Not the best. And this last piece I want to show you is so cool and oddly was not as expensive as it seemed. So let's see if we can get a good picture of it. It's a absolutely beautiful. There we go. Peter Pan watch. Look at that. Look at the gorgeous Peter Pan and Wendy and Michael and John flying to Neverland. 
and that beautiful blue background with the sparkle and the, the Roman numerals. And it's on this really hefty bracelet, watch bracelet. Again, even sadder, the, the pin that you use to tell, you know, fix the time, uh, fix the hands is completely missing. And I thought, but this has to be a really expensive watch. And you know what? This isn't. This was a Hot Topic $20 watch at some point. Um, maybe it never actually told the time. Maybe it was just a funky bracelet. I don't know. But how gorgeous is that? So I'm assuming somebody's going to want this. Somebody's going to want to, you know, fix the works in it and make it work. Or just use it as a beautiful bracelet. Because, wow, if you're a Peter Pan fan, that is fantastic art. So that's what I've got. That is my lot. Um, again, if somebody, especially this, if somebody can identify what this is, what it was used for at Disney, um, I would love to know, especially if it was like an ice cube and a drink. All of these items will be up for sale on our store, Boris Basement, on eBay shortly. And if there's something you're interested, drop me a line or come on over there and make us an offer. We're always happy to entertain offers. And I'm always, also always happy to learn if you know something about one of these pieces that I don't know.